Congress is here. The date for the Congress this year is from December 4 to 10. And the theme is Songs of Victory. Songs of Victory. The Lord of hosts will answer your prayers. He will fight your battles for you. The door to your victory that is already opening will open wide. You will never know defeat again. The one who has promised will change your darkness to light. Even before the sun rises, you will be singing songs of victory. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. My name is Yomi. Welcome to this week's edition of CAD News. Last weekend in the Federal Capital Territory, the Arise Women held the second Abuja outreach, where far-reaching impact was felt. Here is a detailed report of the outreach as presented from our studio. And we're here live in Panduma Village 1 in Abuja, touching lives through the help of the Arise Women and through the help of God Almighty. The Arise Women's Train took a stop at the Federal Capital Territory on Friday, the 24th of November, for the second edition of the Abuja Arise Women's Outreach. Arise Women has been wonderfully received. We well, thank God that the law has laid down by a savior of kindness, of loving our neighbors as ourselves, is the law that will remain until eternity. He said two laws. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Against these two laws, there is no grievance whatsoever. And my prayer is that we all go about doing good. That is what Jesus taught us to do. Dafara is a mixed community of religions. But here we can see how happy the people are. Here we can see that they are grateful. Here we see a joyful people looking towards a brighter future. And we know as we lay the model of Dafara village, as the, one of the first villages we will be touching, we will touch many more. And we will decide to change our nation for the better, as it should be, without discrimination towards anyone or towards any man. My name is Godwin Bishaya. I'm the head boy of this school. Arise has done many things for me. They have gave me back. They have gave me books. They have dig ball for us. And they have build a life with us and we thank them for what they have done to us. Thank you for Arise Women 2015. We thank you for Arise Women 2016. And now, oh God, Father, we say thank you for 2017. Thank you for what you are doing, oh God, Father, Lord, with this Arise Women. In continuation of the good works which begun last year through the Adopt a Village initiative, the Arise Women built a new library. The children that will use this library would remember today and they will make reference to what God did on this day, the 24th of November 2017. Fully equipped with textbooks, notebooks, computers, photocopy machines, and two scanners. Students were also equipped with rice branded school bags and water bottles. The beneficiaries of these good gestures by the Arise Women, the inhabitants of Dafara village, danced in appreciation of the good works done by them. Incidentally, this morning I was with the, 
the new headmaster, as the previous headmaster was here last year, has been posted to a different school. And the new headmaster was very appreciative of what has been done for the school. And in fact, he said that the school is a, the community is a blessed community to have this kind of program located out of all the various communities in Kujie and in fact all the other local governments in Abuja. So I want to thank the convener for this, for making this possible, for lifting up, lifting up those that have been kind of overlooked by the society. So I want to thank the governor and all the community members, those from Abuja and those from Lagos who are participating in this and all the other supporters, all the men and women that have been, have been supporting one way or another this program. May God bless you all. Thank you. Later in the evening, a special dinner was held to propagate the ideals of the Arise Women and also to highlight the positive impact they've had on the people. Then on Saturday the 25th of November, Christmas came so early for the sleepy village of Paduma as the transformational impact that has come to be associated with the Arise Women was brought to bear on the community and the inhabitants. Free medical care, eye tests, blood pressure check and others were administered on them. Our own dear Pastor Shiju, the convener of the Arise Women, single-handedly gave deworming vaccine to the children. Specially treated mosquito nets were given to the pregnant women. My name is Dinatu Yakubu from Kwanduma 1. I thank God very much today because you people come here this morning will benefit with what you want to come for us for here today. We'll get some medicine for here, we'll get medical tests, then do tests for us. And we're very happy to see what you want to give us. We'll take them and we'll pray made the medicine come work for us inside our body in Jesus' name. It's a passion for compassion. We have moved by compassion. To be able to lift up every man, every woman, every child, believing that their lives are important. To be able to say to the world that we can do a lot better. Everybody doesn't have to be extremely wealthy, but everybody is entitled to decency and to life. Blankets and other household items were also given out for free and the inhabitants were all fed. The Arise women have come with a lot of goodies for the residents of Paduma village. We have bags of rice, box of tissues, liquid soap, duvet cover, and buckets to fetch water from the newly commissioned borehole. The school in the community was renovated and well equipped with educational material and the community as a whole was provided with a good source of drinking water. People of Baduma were appreciative of these gestures from the Arise Women and have these to say. Honestly, you can look around to see our school that you renovate. It was done for so many years, like uh, the borehole. It's over 10 years that it has been here. We cannot get water, but here there's water. We thank you for that. We are short of where to say thank you. And we are praying to God Almighty to continue to reimburse what he has done here in Paduma community. You will go well, you will grow well. Various gifts were shared to them afterwards. A Thanksgiving service which held on the third day of the outreach, Sunday the 26th of November at the Abuja city of David Parish, wrapped up the second edition of the Arise Women Outreach in the Federal Capital Territory. Lives were indeed touched, communities impacted, and territories overwhelmed with the practical love of Christ. We thanked the Lord for the success Holy Ghost Congress starting tomorrow, there shall be no services holding here in the sanctuary throughout this week. But please note that we shall be back for both the Sunrise and Sunshine services next Sunday holding here in the sanctuary at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. respectively. Christmas and it's time to celebrate at the annual Christmas Charity Ball.
Coleman. With me is... Chiso. <laughs> As the year 2017 rolls down, you will all agree with me that God has indeed been faithful. As is our custom, every year we do have Christmas musical concert. Mm -hmm. But for the first time, the City of David Choir, Voices in Zion and the Apostles, have put together a musical drama themed The, the Heart, Heart of, of Christmas. Christmas. Now, this is scheduled to take place on Tuesday, the 12th of December, 2017, here in the Sanctuary at 6 p.m. prompt. Cocktail starts at 5 p.m. My, my. The evening promises to be exciting and, and refreshing. refreshing. Please, Please come, come with family and friends and, and be blessed. blessed. The Entrepreneurial Clusters Group will be holding the Christmas edition of the Made in Nigeria Goods Exhibition on Sunday the 17th of December with items such as clothing, food, fashion accessories, household items, kitty items, beauty and cosmetics products built for display, the exhibition will also allow for a time to network. The venue of the exhibition will be the Riverbank Car Park and Teens Church Walkway. Entry fee is absolutely free, but exhibition stands will be 9,000 Naira per stand. For more information, contact the Clusters desk downstairs. The month of extraordinary praise is upon us. How well can you praise the Lord? Will you continue to praise even in hardship, pain, or sorrow? Why not participate in our social media campaign by sharing your Thanksgiving praise and last dance experience? All you need to do is record your one minute video during the Thanksgiving service. Post that video on either Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag COD Extraordinary Praise or the hashtag COD Campaign. Tag RCCG City of David and Pastor ID on all of your posts. The video with the highest engagement will emerge the COD Social Media Personality of the Month and will have the opportunity of sharing his or her testimony with the world along other amazing benefits. For all entries to be valid, all participants must follow RCCG City of David and Pastor ID on all our social media platforms. You can find more details as regards this campaign on all our social media platforms. Good luck and God bless you. extraordinary praise and give us songs of victory and we shall all transit into the new year in peace and sound health in Jesus name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the city of David where the love of God reigns and the come true. Where legends are born and tomorrow's history.